Now the first step is to install Visual C++ file. Now for this, open this link in a browser. It will take you to Microsoft website. Scroll down. Here you can see Visual Studio file. You have to download this x86 and x64 versions. So click on it. Run this exe file. If you see the repair option, click on repair. If you see the install button, hit install. Download this x64 file as well. Run this exe file. Again, if you see repair, click on repair. If you see install button, hit install and let the installation complete. Once installed, restart your computer. Restart is a must after this. After the system restart, launch the game and then check. Still not working. The next step is to run the game from the game installation folder. Now for this, make a right click on the game, select manage, click on browse local files. Now make a double click, launch the game from here and then check. If that does not work, open Bloodlines 2, binaries, Win64. Make a double click, launch the game from here and then check. Still not working, make a right click, go to properties, go to this tab and then put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator hit apply click on ok make a double click launch the game and then you can check still not working the next step is to run paradox launcher as an administrator now for this you can on this location you can go back open launcher this is the location open the launcher and here you can see paradox launcher you can make a right click click on run as administrator click on yes to allow and then you can repair it and then you can check let the repair complete and then you can launch the game and then check still not working uh, the next step is to create a new admin local user account without any space or special character in the username this has also worked for me so you can try this so you can open windows settings go to accounts over here and then scroll down click on other users click on add account and create a username now for this you have to click on i don't have this person's signing information click on it and then click on add a user without a microsoft account now create a username without any space or without any special character so i'm just keeping it simple so keep a simple username make sure that it does not have any kind of special character or space in between and then you if you want a password you can create if you don't want you can leave it blank and once you create a new account click on change account type and then set it to as set it as administrator then click on ok and then you can restart your computer or log out and log in so you can lock and then you can log into the new account which you have created install the game and then launch the game this has also worked now the next step is to skip paradox launcher to skip paradox launcher uh, you can go to the make a right click in the game select manage browse local files now over here open this bloodlines 2 binaries win64 and then select the location copy this path and you can paste it somewhere and then Oh, put up put one backward slash over here and then you have to write down the name of the exe this is the name of the exe make a right click rename copy this complete name over here and then you can paste it over here after the backward slash there is no space so don't keep any space now type in dot exe and then you have to put this quotation now it has to be this quotation only the key uh, the quotation from my keyboard is not working so i put this quotation mark in the video description you can paste it over here and in the beginning at the very beginning and at the end after dot exe and then give one space space is important only one space then it's percentage command percentage after one space and then copy uh, copy this path and then you can go to steam make a right click the game select properties and in the launch option you can paste the path over here and then launch the game this will straight away launch the game without the paradox launcher and then you can check now still not working the next these two are provided in the video description still not working rename the config folder when you rename the config folder all the saved settings will be lost so let me close the game for now
Now for this, uh, you can open File Explorer in your computer. Go to this PC, open C Drive. Now open Users folder. Now open your username folder. And then open App Data. If you don't see App Data at the top, click on View, select Show. Put a check on Hidden Items and then open App Data folder. Open the Local folder and find the Game folder over here. Uh, Bloodlines 2 folder. Steam and then saved and over here you will see config folder. You can make a right click on this config folder and you can rename it. And once you rename it, now you can launch the game and then check. Still not working. The next step is to allow the game exe file to antivirus program. Now if you're using Windows security, open Windows settings, go to privacy and security or update and security, then click on Windows security, virus and threat protection. Scroll down at the bottom, you will see manage ransomware protection. Click on it. Click on allow an app through control folder access. Click on yes to allow. Add an allowed app browser apps. Go to the game installation folder wherever the game is installed and then open the game folder. Select the game exe file. Click on open. Again, add an allowed app browser apps. Open Bloodlines 2 binaries Win64. Select this exe file. Click on open and now launch the game and then check. Now do the same thing in Windows Firewall. Now Control Panel, System and Security, Windows Defender Firewall. Allow an app or feature through Windows Defender Firewall. Change settings, allow the app, click on Browse. Go to the Game Installation folder once again. Open the Game folder, select the Game EXE file, click on Open, click on Add. In my case, it is already added. Again, allow another app, click on Browse. Open this Bloodlines 2, Binaries, Win64. Select this EXE file, click on Open, click on Add. Once the game is added, in my case, it is already added. Now you can launch the game and then check. Still not working. Now, similarly, if you have any antivirus program like Avast, Norton, Bitdefender, McAfee, whichever antivirus program you have, allow the complete game folder or the or both the exe file to your antivirus program. Now, the next step is to perform a clean installation of your graphics card driver. So if you have NVIDIA card, go to NVIDIA website. If you have AMD card, go to AMD website. I'm showing for NVIDIA. Select your graphic card, select your operating system. Now on this page, whichever is the latest GeForce game ready driver, uh, you can install it and then click on uh, click on view and then download over here. And once the download is complete, uh, you can run this exe file. Now once you run this exe file, you will click on yes to allow, click on OK and then click on agree and continue. Select custom option over here, click on next and then put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation. This is important. Click on next. After the clean installation, restart the computer. Restart is a must after this. After the system restart, launch the game. Still not working. The next step is to run the game on dedicated graphic card. Now for this, type in graphic settings in Windows search box and then click on graphic settings over here. Click on add desktop app and then go to the game installation folder. Open the game folder. Open Bloodlines 2 binaries Win64. Select this exe file. Click on add. Once the game is added, scroll down, find the game in the list. Click on the game over here and then select high performance and then again add desktop app and then you can go back and add the first exe file and once the game is added click on the game select high performance you will see your graphic card now launch the game and then check still not working disable integrated graphic card now if your computer has a dual graphic card make a right click on the start menu go to device manager and expand display adapter now over here you can disable the integrated graphic card for me it's intel make a right click disable it and then you can relaunch the game and then check if that does not work or once you're done playing the game you can make a right click and then enable the device once again next step is to roll back graphics driver so if the latest graphic card driver is not working after you select the graphic card and operating system on this page you can click on view more versions and you can install the older one maybe 581.29 or 581.15 but when you go for installation Make sure that you put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation over here and then launch the game and then check. Now it's still not working. The next step is to verify the game file. Now for this you can go to Steam, make a right click on the game, select properties and then go to install files tab and then click on verify integrity of game files. Once the verification is done, launch the game and then check. Still not working. The next step is to try Launch the game from NVIDIA app. So if you have NVIDIA card and if you have NVIDIA app installed, if not installed, you can install it. Open NVIDIA app. You will see the game over here. And then you can launch the game from here. So click on the play button over here. 
and just wait click on play just wait click on yes to allow and this will also launch the game skipping the paradox launcher and then you can check if that does not work uh, you can go to settings over here and uh, or you can go to graphics settings and then you can select the uh, game over here now once you select the game at the right hand side uh, let me close the game for now now you have to select the game and once you select the game on the right hand side if you see that um, optimize option in my case i don't see it let me uh, relaunch the nvidia app once so it's not able to retrieve my settings but in your case if you see optimize option over here uh, like this once you select the game if you see optimize you can optimize it and then you can relaunch the game and then check if it is already optimized, you can revert the optimization and then you can relaunch the game and then check. If you don't see the option, you can skip it. Now, the next step is to, uh, you can even close NVIDIA app and you can disable this NVIDIA overlay. You can turn this off and then check. Next step is to debug mode, try debug mode. So go to NVIDIA control panel, go to desktop, make a record on the desktop, show more option, NVIDIA control panel and then go to the help option and put a check on debug mode so by default it's unchecked you can put a check on debug mode relaunch the game and then check still not working restore the settings so in nvidia control panel go to manage 3d settings global settings click on restore click on yes and at the bottom right you will see apply option hit apply over here and once done now you can relaunch the game and then check still not working the next step is to disable or enable the steam overlay now for this you can go to steam make a right click on the game select properties and then if enable the steam overlay is on over here you can turn it off relaunch the game and then check if it is already off you can turn it on and then check so try on and off and each time relaunch the game and then check close all the overlay application like if you have discord running go to discord settings turn off overlay if you have nvidia app running go to nvidia app settings turn off overlay do not overclock set it to default close all the overclocking application like if you have msi after burner revert you know any over overclocking application close it close all the third party application make sure only the steam and the game is running the rest close everything including your browsers now the next step is to use intel driver and support assistant now for this you can go to intel website and go to the official intel driver and support assistant website click on download install it and then you can run this intel driver and support assistant you can run this it will scan your computer and if there is any update you will see download all and then install all once everything is installed then restart your computer and then you can check still not working the next step is to try power saver mode now for this type in control panel in windows search box click on control panel go to hardware and sound go to power options now over here if you see power saver like this you can select power saver relaunch the game and then check you can even go for balanced or high performance but first of all try power saver and then relaunch the game and then check still not working the next step is to enable or disable hardware accelerated gpu scheduling now for this type in graphic settings in windows search box click on graphic settings and then go to advanced graphic settings now if hardware accelerated gpu scheduling if this is like off you can turn it on relaunch the game and then check you might have to restart your computer and then if it is already on you can turn it off relaunch the game and then check still not working the next step is to increase the virtual memory to increase the virtual memory type in view advanced system settings in windows search box and then click on view advanced system settings over here and then under advanced click on settings the first setting and then click on advanced tab and then click on change over here you have to uncheck the box and then you have to select the drive where the game is installed make sure that you select the drive where the game is installed and then select custom size and we, for initial size is 1.5 multiplied total ram for maximum is 3 multiplied total ram so you can check total ram in windows settings go to system and then go to about option and over here you can see in my case it's 16 gigabyte so you have to calculate as per your ram and if you face any problem we can always revert back to the settings so do not worry about it so for in my case it's 16 gigabyte multiplied 1024 that is total total ram in megabyte for initial size it's 1.5 multiplied 1.5 that is 24576 for maximum size it's total ram that is 16 
multiplied 1024 in my case 16384 megabyte then three times multiplied three that is for maximum size it's four nine one five two in my case and then you have to click on set set is important make sure that it hits set and then click on ok and then ok ok now relaunch the game and then check if that does not work then type in via advanced system settings again and then click on via advanced system settings go to settings over here click on change uh, advanced tab and then click on change and then select system manage size this time and then click on set set is important click on ok click on ok over here hit apply click on ok ok you will see restart option restart your computer and then check still not working we will revert to default so you can type in view advanced system settings once again settings advance change and put a check on this box and then hit apply click on ok follow the next step now still not working the next step is to update windows to the latest version now for this you can open windows settings go to windows update or update and security and then click on check for update once all the updates are installed over here then restart your computer and after the system restart launch the game next step is to you can skip this step if you are not able to launch game launch the game if you are able to launch the game try window mode and lower down video settings like if uh, uh, everything is set to ultra you can um, you can set it to high or medium and then check next step is to update the bios so go to your system manufacturer website select your model number and then update the bios in case of laptop Make sure battery is more than 10% and the AC adapter is connected to the computer when you update the BIOS and then you can check. Next step is to unplug all the external devices like if you have OTAs, wheel, pedals, any kind of USB adapter connected, disconnect it. Disconnect extra controller connected to the computer. Disconnect external keyboard and mouse like if you have key chrome keyboard or razor huntsman keyboard, disconnect it, launch the game. If you have undervolted your computer, remove the undervolt and then check. The last step is to uninstall and reinstall the game to different drives. So if nothing is working, you can uninstall the game. Now after you uninstall, you can reinstall the game to C drive. So if the game is installed to D drive or E drive, try to install the game to C drive and then check. If the game is already installed to C drive, try installing the game to another SSD and then check. So one of the steps shown in this video should help you to run this game successfully on your Windows computer. So that will be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.